kick will be taken by the best man on the ground in the first quarter of late inclusion of the Essendon side, Chris Danaher. That's his eighth kick up to Mark Harvey, who for the first 20 minutes was absolutely brilliant and certainly continued his good form that he displayed last week at Carrara against the Brisbane Bears. Madden in front position. Essendon player goes down. That's Kieran Spawn. O'Brien, Peter. O'Brien. Thank you, Robbo. Copped a high one. Might be just too far out to score. In fact, that was probably his reasoning. Oh. And that's poor marking, isn't it? Oh, yes, my word. I think what happens is the tall guy stands on the mark. And then all of a sudden, the opposite tall player, this, in this uh, situation, Salmon, he sneaks away and he's just got that little bit closer to goal. No wind advantage. Salmon from 45 metres out would get the distance. He's done that, and the accuracy is there as well. That's a goal to start the second quarter for Essendon. Salmon's first and Essendon's third. The Bombers lead 3-2 to 1-2 on the AFL today. Well, I guess... Uh, the free kick to O'Brien. You mentioned that he was a little bit too far out to score, but uh, if you want to be critical of anything, it was just the fact that Paul Salmon got on his own. And uh, O'Brien may have struggled if forced to kick from that distance. Salmon, on the other hand, made no mistake. So, Essendon lead now by two goals early in the second term. Justin Madden up against Salmon. Salmon stands his ground and gets the punch towards goal. Chris Danaher again, a productive little tap out the back. Harvey's handball, O'Donnell's quick kick. Plain making position on his own. 50 metres from goal, Bradley Plain taps it to his own advantage. Good play in the finish. Kicks it across his body, back there Silvani. Just misses, and it's through for a behind to Essendon. Good build up by the Bombers there. An intelligent play by that man there, Bradley Plain. He was going to be tackled by Meldrum. Just tapped it to his own advantage. Gave himself a chance to have a shot but in the finish missed. Kick in. Comes towards Bassett. Long. Just bumped a little bit by Bradley. Bassett. Able to kick the ball towards half forward. Dennis kicks it back. Bradley will gather. Handball to Dennis. He's a bit slow. Fumbles. Hamilton's pressure is good. Breaks the tackle and handballs it to nearly the 50 metre line. Somerville lumbering. Silvani desperate. Ball over for a boundary throw in. Silvani a little bit of a doubt over whether he'd take his place in the Carlton lineup today, but uh, he's playing at centre half back on uh, Peter Somerville. About two kicks from the Essendon goal. Madden at the back, Somerville. Chance for Buick. Forced to kick with the left. Under pressure. Over on the full. Free kick to be taken by Fotier, I would think. Meldrum with the ball. His eighth kick. Uh, I think it's going to come up further because it went out of bounds. No, it's going to be taken by Meldrum. Just outside 50. In towards the wing position, Madden. Handballs it away to Edgar. He's got a bit of pace, Edgar. Kick towards centre half forward. Arsiri, good body work against Izard. Arsiri's kick towards full forward. Oh, Cavanaugh that was nearly in the back against Danaher. Great desperation, Herman. They've kept it in the Blues half forwards. Cavanaugh, too slow, handball over his head, goes back towards Herman. He's got the football, he's going to get caught, but he gives it to Arsiri. Left foot shot by Arsiri is going close. It's a Carlton goal. Kicked by Mark Arsiri. Arsiri's first goal and Carlton's first for the quarter. And the Blues answer 3 3 to 2 2 on the AFL today. kick, we've got a bit of distance with that as well Izzard from the back with the fly punches on, ball into the open space it's Herman, kicks it goal and it'll hit the behind post, so that's out of bounds on the full, Essendon free kick will be taken by Denner. Now did Izzard leg Arsiri? Possibly I'm trying to look through clear eyes, and was it certainty? Salmon and Kernahan, Bradley ball just travels the required distance could be a mark anyway, Izzard Good little player, playing his 150th senior game today for Essendon. Kicks up towards centre field. Fotia takes the rebound. And Fotia's kick inside 50 to half forward. Kernahan was he held. The umpire says no, play on. Danaher 
Arsiri. Oh, dragged off it. Surely a free kick. Now, there's the reaction, Peter. You don't have to say any more. They've been frustrated a few times, Carlton, with umpiring decisions, and eventually they get this one. Couldn't argue with that, Robbo. And Mark Arsiri, who snapped that brilliant goal only two or three minutes back. Only Carlton second for the match. The Eastland defence has worked well and worked successfully. Arsiri, centering kick. Chris Danaher, who just keeps pick, uh, picking up kicks at will. Derizard, Anderson and Alvin. And while Tommy Alvin hasn't been exactly prominent, Anderson has hardly had a touch. Well, I think that's uh, probably a credit to Greg Anderson's ability that uh, David Parkin would uh, put a man like Alvin to tag him all day. He's done brilliantly so far. Madden and Salmon. O'Donnell. Bailey. Bailey from the right centre wing. A chance to put Essendon deep into attack. Still he goes and no one running at him. He kicks to half forward. Madden. No one at home in the goal square. That could even bounce through. Will he equal John Coleman's record with this kick? Not that one. Touched the behind post and so it's out of bounds in front of Darren Buick for a boundary throw in. 18 and a quarter minutes left in the turn. Essendon player in the uh, hands of the trainers, Bradley Plain. Back towards half forward on that outer side. So Bombers. Lose another one. Well, that's right. Timmy Watson on the bench with what we think is a knee injury. Carlton may get out through Edgar. Handballed nicely to Silvani. He was under pressure, Edgar, and it finished up all right. Salmon getting back. Oh, he dropped it. It was going to be a difficult one. Hamilton goes to Considine. Considine's left foot kick is good. Bradley gets back and just intercepts it before O'Brien could take the mark. But O'Donnell recovers. Left foot kick by that player. Silvani streaming out of centre-half back. Goes to Herman. Back to Silvani. It's a good one-on-one. -on -one. Silvani now under pressure. Kicks across his body to half forward. Looking for Kernahan. From the back, Hamilton, who's done a good job on that half-back line for Essendon. And a flip out the back by Considine. Too tough, the uh, work by Stephen Kernahan. And Considine's in trouble. Kernahan nailed it. Well, I guess... It was a little high, but I didn't think it was with the hip. He's in trouble too, Peter, Ed Considine. There's only 50 metres. I think that's because... Uh, what Craig Bradley was doing on uh, Gary O'Donnell trying to work out who was going to take the kick and there was no one and Craig Bradley was going to give O'Donnell any space and eventually the umpire said well you can have 50 because you're holding up play well, the club doctor Robert Reynolds is out attending to Considine now still on his back kick to half four he's up just breaks the tackle ball spills free Alvin Dean Slaps the ball wide towards the boundary in our series. Couldn't find him. Izar, seemingly everywhere at the moment. Nearly runs out of room and out of bounds. Centering kick. Salmon or Madden. He had his choice there. The two giants. Madden. He's kicked one already. That's two. He's equal John Coleman's record. Two goals to Simon Madden to take his tally in AFL and VFL ranks to 537. 4-3 to 2-2. That was the good news. The bad news is that Considine is now off the ground and does not look too good, Ian. No, I don't know what happened to him. I wonder whether he's got an internal injury or a, or a jaw injury, but uh, Watson has come onto the ground. So that's another bit of good news for Essendon that uh, Watson not badly hurt from the previous clash. Trying to break clear of the centre. Ratton, handball over the top, looks for Bassett. Bounce not handy for him, but he gets it in front of Edgar. And a good pick-up by Edgar. A kick in towards the forward pocket for Carlton. Great punch away by Anthony Danaher from Cavidon. And we'll have a boundary throw in. 50 metres from the Carlton goal. 4-3 to 2-2. Two, two. And we're uh, about one-third through this second term. Chris Danaher, intelligent play. Izzard was behind, he knew. Got the possession, handball over the top long. Quickly on to Chris Danaher, who's playing a magnificent game. He must reckon it's Christmas. In towards the centre, Alvin. Just misses it, Anderson. Lovely long kick by Anderson. Madden got his name written all over it. Simon Madden. And he marks about 35 to 40 metres from goal. Moving like a stall gift now. Now this could break the record. that John Coleman played only 98 games for Essendon. Simon Madden has played well in excess of 300. 
will be just another feather in the cap of this brilliant Ruckman. Distance won't be a problem. His third goal, the all-time great goal kicker at Windy Hill now, breaking the record of John Coleman. Three goals today. We're in the second quarter at VFL Park. Carlton have added a point and we rejoin the game with ten and a half minutes remaining to half time and the Blues trail the Bombers by three goals. Kernahan at the back. Ezard and Murphy. And it's Ezard, yes it is, underneath Fraser Murphy. And he's going to get the free kick, presumably for a high tackle. Playing well, Ezard. And his fellow redhead and Darren Buick. Somerville. Keeps it away from Saul Barney. Bassett. Oh. Luckily coming out with the free kick. Arsiri. From the North Melbourne Rover. From the right centre wing for Carlton. Tall timber needed here. Oh, great mark by Salmon. Aerials, aerialist supreme this afternoon. In defence. Or in the forward, uh, forward line. Buick. Didn't get the best of bounces. Somerville. Relays it back to Izard, playing a great game for his 150th. And O'Brien inside the square. Danaher made something out of nothing because the disposal wasn't really good. One of Essendon's best players today, if not the best, Spawn. And the mark taken down there in defence for Carlton by, uh, by Rennes. Defences of both sides still well on top as our Siri marks. Goes to Fodia. Fodia's got a player loose on this member's wing at Stephen Silvani. Kick is short. Lily goes through Dorotic. He's forced to tap it on, but not really for Carlton's advantage. Great play, Ezard. He spotted Spawn in the centre. He's going to have to be kick it quickly now, but he's got a player in support. It's Heard. He's got plenty of time to deliver it. And a good lead, a good mark taken by Simon Madden. He swings onto the left, kicks it into the pocket. It's a good pass. Watson marks. And we must repeat that Watson went off the ground in the first quarter. Was carried off. With a knee injury. No one home in the goal square. He kicks it long and kicks a goal, has he? Yes. Now Watson's second goal. Madden has three. The veterans. And Watson appears to be playing at full forward. And Madden a little bit out from goal, moving there like a gazelle, speared the pass to him with that trusty left foot. And uh, the unheralded, what I thought anyway, unheralded best in the defence is standing up. I thought they had some problems early with Kernahan and Doradich, but they're doing a wonderful job and they've restricted Carl to just two goals. The Bombers in command at VFL Park. Timmy Watson booting his second goal after being carried from the field in the first quarter. 39 plays 15 on the AFL today. And the Bombers have done everything right so far in this season after being written off by many of the critics. Anderson off the ground. It comes back out towards half forward. He's out again, having a great quarter. Bradley and Hurd uh, with Alvin. Arsiri kicked a beautiful goal with a snapshot earlier in the quarter. So in a fairly low scoring encounter so far, Essendon lead by 18 points. Madden high over the top, gets the tap down. Chance for Bassett, kick off the ground by Kranzberg. Ball still in. And eventually Bassett. He's going to get a free kick. Maybe it could have been kicking in danger, was it? And uh, push in the back. And Bassett takes the free kick. He kicks it to the 50-metre line. Dorothy Arsiri, what brilliant braving in the forward line. Mark Arsiri, left foot kick, Kernahan. Good spotting by Arsiri. Yes, excellent. And Kernahan, I guess you can spot, you can look, but you still have to kick it. It was a good kick in the finish, wasn't it, with excellent the left foot? Kick giving Stephen Kernahan, who somehow was able to just get away from Considine, and he's marked about 30 metres out directly in front. He'll be worrying about this kick. He's had two shots at goal for two behind so far. Blues trail by 18 points. Kernahan's shot has missed. Three shots for three behinds. He can do better than that, and he'll need to. The kicking really hasn't been good, has it? Even, no, even in the field. That, that, uh, Surprisingly, Robbo, because yeah. conditions are excellent. Chris Danaher. Anthony Danaher. Two Danahers playing today. Chris has been brilliant with 16 possessions. Anthony's had six. 
the kicks out from full back out included in those stats, of course. Look at that for accuracy, O'Donnell on the log. He hardly wasted possession. He hasn't wasted that one either. On to Mark Harvey. He seems to make that kick across the body an art form. Plain hasn't been his devastating self so far today. Eight goals against the Swans, four against the Bears. Salmon has it twisted clear. Back to O'Brien from 49 metres out. The kick travelling well. And still inside the field of play. Edgar. Great kick. Long kick. Almost went up to the centre of the ground. Oh, he's run his full distance down there. Has he? Bassett. He had two chances to give the hand pass away. And by trying to get onto that favoured left foot, he's run too far. Much too far. Probably about three or four paces. Umpire very lenient. Darren Buick spots an unguarded bomber. Mark Harvey again. In terms of meterage, they haven't really gained that much. Kranzberg on his own. The stutter gets around Bassett. Kicks the ball high. Tall timber needed here. Silvani, a juggle, but not paid the mark. Somerville tries to spit out. Good tackle by Silvani. The ball spills free onto the bottom of the pack. And it comes to play. A snapshot. He's hit the post. Always dangerous near goal, but only one behind. But Bradley Plain taking Essendon's tally to 6-4. Carlton, 3-4, under six minutes left in the half. It's in a uh, tight encounter. That was a bad mistake to get, give Plain the chance in that forward pocket. Kicking is marked by Alvin. Alvin now kicks towards centre wing, looking for Doritic. Ball bounces nicely. Good pressure by Anderson. Doritic still has the football. Oh, that was a throw on the wrong side of the umpire, but it got, they got away with it. Up towards centre-half forward, Justin Madden tries to get Izard, but Izard's a great little player today. Handball by O'Donnell over the top, goes back to Izard, who got his footing very, very quickly, and that's the name of the game. In towards the centre, Harvey just slips over. Chance now, too slow Somerville, but he gets the handball wide to Spawn. Spawn's kicked to full foot, Plains on his own again. Well, when I say on his own, I suppose it's not really but it's just enough space for the players of today to take advantage of. They just dropped it into the forward pocket and Bradley playing with three or four metres on Meldrum. Boys are having fun at centre-half forward. Buick and Rennitz. Elvin and Chris Danaher. Elvin may have the job to pick him up. Plane from 30 metres. High kick is an Essendon goal. So Bradley Plain gets his first goal for the afternoon with four minutes left. Essendon again lead by 24 points, 46 to 22. As well, Meldrum's had a lot of possessions himself, 13 to be precise, so he hasn't done a bad effort. Plain doesn't need many opportunities to be a really effective forward. We saw that in the last two weeks. Back into the centre, once again the difference is four goals, under five minutes left in the half. Can the Blues come back? Ah, Siri, he's their leading goal kicker so far and he has two, he's kicked down towards centre half forward, over the back of the pack, chance for Dorotich and Dennis. He flips it out to Fovia, Fovia's snapshot is off target, in fact well off target, it's out of bounds on the full. And it will be an Essendon free kick in the right back pocket. Izard. Good pressure by Spawn on Fovia with the kick. Coming in for... His 18th possession, Anderson, who's been fairly quiet, lobs it, and that's the operative word, up towards half-back. Alvin, right on 50. 50,000 people, Essendon uh, cling to a three-goal advantage. Three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Madden gets the tap out. Quick kick by Bradley to centre forward. Anderson's back there for Essendon. He's going to be tackled by Fodia. But he gets his foot to the ball and kicks it wide. Kranzberg, a good gather. He spotted O'Donnell, Bradley. They've had a good contest. Bradley is going to get away. Gives the handball to Bassett. Over the top, Murphy's in trouble. Gives it back. Uh, Siri, high kick in towards centre forward. But a good mark taken back there for Eston by Paul Hamilton playing his 100th game. And what a Dow defender he is. Kick towards centre wing. Madden at the back, tries to tap it down. O'Brien goes after it again, gives the handball to Long. He's been chased by Ratton, but he's got too much pace. Three bounces, short pass, plain. 
Brilliant play, Michael Long and Bradley Plain. Gee whiz, I don't know what happened there. He didn't mark it. Eventually goes to Cranesburg, well within scoring distance. Did the umpire blow his whistle when Plain had that all over his chest? Or I didn't hear the whistle. Neither did I, but uh, the Carlton player stopped and gave Plain the chance to give Cranesburg the football about 15 or 20 metres closer to goal. Well, he seemed to have a fortnight, didn't he? Yes, yeah, amazing stuff, but uh, the end result is Cranesburg a chance to kick Essendon's eighth goal. Not a bad kick either, Peter Cranesburg, under normal circumstances, and that is no exception. Cranesburg's first goal, and the Bombers reasserted their supremacy 8 4 to 4 4, and leaded four goals. And the goals really have been spread apart from the fact that Simon Madden has three. And that's what I meant, you know, before when I said about uh, Essendon kicking the goals with a little bit of uh, method and Carlton struggling. Carlton struggle, They've they had yet. two or three or four, maybe four set shots, Essendon. So back into the centre, once again, four goals the difference. Cranesburg's first goal, 52 players, 28. Before an excellent crowd at VFL Park. Dean, off the ground albeit only for a short distance, is socket up towards Anderson at half forward, he's out, he's had a brilliant second quarter, gets it out to Michael Long, well look at this fellow go, draws the man and the person of Dean, onto Madden, who early in this quarter broke John Coleman's record, Plain showing much more mobility now in the second term than he did in the first, and getting away from Meldrum to mark in the left forward pocket. Great selection by Simon Madden there. Better Kick shot. off target. And one behind, or yes, it is one behind. It just scraped in for that. Plains kick one goal. And that makes the difference now. Four goals, one. 25 points. 28 to 53. With just over a minute left in this half. David Kernahan kicks in and goes straight up the ground. Justin Madden at the back. Slaps down to Bradley. Bradley's kick is high. A real up and under job. Ezard punches the ball clear into a nest of blues, but it comes out back to Anderson. Anderson's kick up towards half forward and Silvani takes a clean mark. Silvani's kick wide. Carlton players out here are Siri in front and nearly marked it thanks to Craig Bradley. He got in front of Izar just for that one second to give our Siri the opportunity to take the mark on centre wing. Carlton made another cha change. Dean is off and Herman is on. Blues a chance here. Murphy. Oh, Eltham's going to get run down. Murphy, what can you do now to make up for that? Give the ball away to Essendon's Chris Danaher. Centre half forward, Bassett maybe. Should have gone a bit harder, Cranesburg. And here's the creative long. He doesn't miss many chances, this bloke. Look at that. Bang, straight on the chest of an Essendon player. It's Harvey. He'll kick a goal from 40 metres. No doubt. I'll tell you what. Water for the Bombers, seven goals to three, and they had a big lead at half time. Carlton came back at them towards the end but the Bombers hung on to win by 21 points. Watson, despite his injury, kicked four goals. Madden kicked three to take the uh, all-time record, and Arsiri kicked three goals for Carlton. We've still got more football action to come, and it's the plugger power from Moorabbin. That's coming up after a short break.